So what role do you think you played in the revolution as a photographer? Um, I'm Bill Gentile. Uh, I'm a journalist in residence at um, the School of Communication at American University. Um, I've been a journalist since 1977, which is almost 40 years. And I first started out as a, as a reporter in, in Mexico City. Um, and then I went on to work for United Press International. And, and not long after that, in 1979, I was covering the Sandinista Revolution in Nicaragua. It was the first conflict I've covered, actually. And my role, I think, there, I mean, you know, my professional role was to, was to document a conflict that lasted, you know, almost two months and, and that cost about 35,000 uh, dead and, and thousands more uh, wounded. Uh, and my role was to, to, to document the, uh, you know, this national convulsion called the Sandinista Revolution in which an entire population uh, uh, rose up against a, a, a U.S.-backed dictatorial regime that the United States had sponsored, had, had supported for 42 years, and it was, you know, a, a total uh, a disruption of just about every component of Nicaraguan national life. When we go to a place like Nicaragua, I mean, we're, the foreign media in particular became the, the, the voice for the voiceless. We became the eyes and ears for the people who didn't have access to, to media and whose stories weren't being told. Uh, you know, my master's degree uh, 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 thesis, it wasn't a thesis, it was a paper that I wrote to, to get my master's degree, um, was all about the impact of American uh, media coverage of, of the, the Sandinista Revolution. And, you know, uh, evidence that I've dug up over the years, and more than just anecdotal evidence, but fairly powerful evidence suggests that uh, we had a profound and lasting effect in exposing the brutality of the Somoza regime and, uh, you know, forcing the, the Carter administration of the time to really reconsider its, its, its policy toward the Somoza dictatorship. So And this is actually, actually something very curious and something very important. During the, the final offensive, which lasted six weeks, which the final offensive was, was mounted by the Sandinista National Liberation Front, a guerrilla organization, to overthrow the, the, the Somoza dictatorship. During the, that, that final offensive, um, uh, a member of Somoza's National Guard uh, murdered, you know, assassinated a, an American foreign correspondent, ABC television correspondent Bill Stewart. And this was taped surreptitiously by Bill Stewart's film crew. And the day after, you know, this, this, this video was broadcast all over the United States, you know, Somoza and his dictatorship became radioactive. I mean, no one, not even his most ardent supporters, his most ardent anti-Sandinista supporters in, 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 in this city, in Washington, could support him at that News correspondent Bill Stewart was shot and killed by Nicaraguan National Guardsmen at a roadblock during today's fighting in eastern Managua. Also killed was his Nicaraguan interpreter. The ABC cameraman with Stewart recorded the murder because it is an important documentation of the savagery of the Nicaraguan War. We will show this ABC News videotape with a warning that parents might not want their children to view it. Colleagues of the 37-year-old Stewart called the killings executions. ABC News sound man Jim Capallo witnessed the incident, and here is his telephone description along with the videotape. He got to the area where the guard motioned for him to get down. Uh, Bill got on his knees and was talking to the guard. A guard comes over to him and motioned to get down, face down, on the ground, which Bill did. So he kicked Bill, and we realized there was a problem. Uh, he moved back, 
motion like he wanted to build with his hands on his head. Bill started to do so, and as he did, the guard took one step forward, as I recall, and shot Bill once in the head. After the shooting, President Samosa sent aides to gather facts on the case. Washington State Department condemned the killings. Secretary of State Vance asked Nicaragua for a full report. Um, um, ABC distributed the material to the other American networks and to European networks. You know, these images, which were really, really shocking, went everywhere. And when, you know, uh, two things happened as a result of this. Well, two basic things. Number one, um, it, it completely eliminated any support that uh, Samosa had here in Washington, D.C., from, you know, the most vehemently anti-communist uh, congressmen and women in, you know, in Washington, D.C. Uh, he became radioactive after that because, you know, having seen that, um, his, you know, Samosa's critics could make the argument that this, this happens not only to, to Bill Stewart, but this happens almost every day to innocent Nicaraguans. And, that, and the fact, you know, uh, uh, of the matter was that it was happening all too frequently uh, to Nicaraguans. And, you know, you know, some of the best and most respected human rights uh, uh, organizations on the planet um, have verified that repeatedly. Do you think the American reaction would be different if the cameraman had not captured the death on video? Um, I think that the Samosa regime had a very, very well-oiled propaganda slash public relations um, machine operating here in Washington, D.C. You know, he was, he was vehemently and virulently anti-communist, or at least that's how he defined himself. The United States bent over backwards um, uh, supporting him uh, despite accusations of, of profound, consistent violations of human rights. Don't forget this was during Jimmy Carter's uh, presidency. I think that had the, the, the killing not been filmed, that Samosa's PR machine would have had, um, would have been fairly effective in claiming that his National Guard was not responsible for it. As a matter of fact, um, when news got out that, that his National Guard had killed an American television correspondent, Samosa's people immediately um, put out that it was Sandinista guerrillas dressed as National Guardsmen who killed, who killed Bill Stewart. It wasn't until the film, you know, it wasn't until Samosa realized that the killing was actually on camera, and it was really difficult to deny that the, the people you know, who killed uh, Bill Stewart were, were members of the National Guard. It wasn't until he realized that there was, there was visual evidence of this that, you know, he basically uh, um, had, he had to concede that it was his people and not the Sandinistas that did the killing. Did you or any of your colleagues feel it was a perversion of media to publish the video in the way that it was all across the platform? The, the, the video of the killing? Mm -hmm. um, I think that, you know, sadly, the, the images of of, of Bill Stewart being assassinated by Samosa's National Guard probably had even more impact than all the, the, the other work that was being done by journalists um, who were trying to inform the world of what was happening in that country. You know, in the space of 30 seconds or so, the entire planet saw what was routine behavior for Samosa's National Guard, which was basically, you know, Samosa's own mafia. That's how they, that's how they ran the country. And, you know, we were busy. I, I was making still photos. People were doing radio reports. The New York Times was, 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 was publishing, uh, you know, great uh, stories by Ellen Riding. But, and they, and they all sounded pretty much the same. You know, we were covering this, the downfall of this very, very uh, brutal dictatorship and hoping that, you know, our work would have some impact, that it would inform people around the world of what, what the regime was really like. But, but again, you know, that imagery of, of Stewart being killed by the, by the National Guard, I, I don't remember anything from that conflict that carried as much power as, as those, you know, maybe a half a minute, those seconds on national and international television. That was really, that was the nail on the coffin 
of the Samosa regime. 